Sorry that I uh, make this video a bit late, but yeah, here's still some video. By the way, I think it is a nice idea to show you some new ants I have. I'm gonna show you today two colonies. There are a lot of other colonies gone, but I have also a few new ones. And th those ones I wanna show you guys. So. In 3 to 1, I'm gonna show you them. 3, 2, 1. Here is the colony Campanotus Maculatus. Here's their water, so they can have water. Here is a uh, small inside of the nest. And here is their main nest, but I'm gonna show you in a bit. And here is their outward. I gave them last time some apple. One more, put some light on. I gave them last time some apple. And here is honey mixed with water in a test tube. And this ant is just enjoying it like crazy. Like you see it? There's their uh, garbage area, aka the garbage and their trash area. But now I'm gonna show you their nest. Wait, don't forget this. So, three to one. It's a big colony. Of, which I get, I think about around 100 workers. Or at least against 100 workers. Here's their queen if you look good. One moment. Oh uh, no, that's not gonna work. One moment. Yeah, that's better. What is this? Do you see that big queen there? With the... Uh... One moment. One moment. Alright, here you go. This one here is the queen. This is the queen. And they are all larvae. There's eggs, another larvae. This colony I got uh, from the yeah from the shop of a friend of mine, and uh, yeah I think I got it for for a really good deal. The colony oh cost me I I I don't sure I'm not sure about it but I thought like uh, sixty to seventy euros I believe. I was not I'm not sure anymore but trust me. If you buy a single queen of this species, it can cost like, yeah, 40 to 50, maybe 60 euros. And I got, uh, yeah, the queen with some wood and like all these workers. And that can easily cost like 100 euro, easy, easy peasy. And now I'm gonna show you guys another end colony of mine. And maybe this beautiful ant here. It's a flying big ant monster. But it's not the real ant. Uh, and so I'm gonna show you of course. One moment. Three to one. Dun dun dun. These are like 300 to 500 workers. And like 20 to 30 queens. I'm not exactly sure how much queens. But I'm not gonna bother counting them. You know why? I just gonna tell you those ants do do in do on, are a species that do that does inbreeding. They do 
they are known because they do inbreeding. That means they, uh, yeah, the queens lay lays eggs. There out came came a workers, males and young queens, princesses, and the uh, young queens and males are of course brother sister, but. There's only with specific end species, and uh, yeah, they also do it in nature. And let me just say it like this: they, uh, yeah, the males will fertilize their sisters. This is with this species completely normal, also in the wild, and they have evolved to it that there are no, uh, yeah. No weaknesses with that or bad mutations or whatever. This is a normal process for those ants, and it is not like uh, yeah, we we humans uh, have sex with our family. It's not like that because those ants, it's in their nature. I know it sounds weird, but they do that. This species is called. Tetramorium bicarinatum. And they have a lot, a lot of boots. More, the biggest part is probably just no more workers and larvae of the workers. They have not made, so far I know, uh, future alates. This, that is how we call it. Alates are like young queens. Or princess males. The males are called drones. The females are called achina. Sorry. And uh, yeah, they are together called alates. But I think this video is already taking too long. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop the video. I'm sorry, but I think this is already a pretty long video, right? So we're gonna say it later, alligators. Wait, wait, wait. What is it again? Ladies, alligators. See you in a while, crocodiles.